So, Caitlin, I'm sorry, you lost out on that because uh, because I got, I got it right. But at least you know that we're both being honest about it. Send her the right? chocolate. And because, because you're being honest, I'm going to give you this chocolate. Whoa, you've got to send it over whoa, the internet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're in New York. I'm in Vast Kraki. ocean. Can oh, I get, can I get one, one two, three, four people up, please? Yeah. And just stand across. Yeah. Okay, so these people are the internet. <coughs> and in a line this way. Yeah, in a line that way. Yeah. So that's all hot for the cameras. All right. Okay, so Can if I want to send this chocolate to Caitlin, I've got to send it through the internet. And I can't... This guy looks shifty. <laughs> um, so, how am I going to do it? Chuck it? No, I can't chuck it because Caitlin's in New York. You're in New York. No, 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 I'm in Christchurch. Caitlin's in New York. It's very prestigious. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it inside this box. All right. And I'm going to reach into my pocket and I'm going to pull out a padlock. Okay. How convenient. Okay. So I'm going to lock the box so that no one on the internet can get Caitlin's chocolate. Please send this to Caitlin. All right. And say that to the person next to you. Okay. So now Caitlin has the chocolate. Hooray! The, yeah, the only problem is that the chocolate is inside a locked box. And Caitlin, do you have the key to my locked box? No, you don't. All right. So, how are we going to solve that? Send the key over. But what if this guy's just kept the box? Then I give him the key. Well, Caitlin's, Caitlin's got the box, but I don't know that because. The only, the only way I can get a message from Caitlin to me is if Caitlin passes that message back, back down through these people. All right? So if this guy says, I'm Caitlin, I've got the box. All right? <laughs> and then I send the key. He's kept the box. He's got the key. He's got the chocolate. <laughs> so that's, that's not fair. So I'm going to hold on to the key. This is my key, and I'm not letting it go. I have a solution. Okay, have. Okay, if, Kate, if Caitlin gets her own key... Caitlin's got her own lock. Her own padlock. Okay. I want you to send it back. So you, you tell the person next to you, please send this to Matt, because that's how the internet works. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to unlock the box and get my chocolate back. Cool. <sighs> yep. Ah. So there's an extra lock on the box now. Um, but it's unlocked. So now I can just say, please send this to Caitlin. And because Caitlin's got the key. And so the chocolate song goes. Woo! And now Caitlin safely has the chocolate without anyone in the middle being able to, uh, to attack. Wait, Internet, thank you. You can sit down. The main point of that exercise is to illustrate that there are things that are possible on computers that you might not have thought were possible, in this case getting the message through securely. In fact, this particular technique does have an attack. Uh, the man in the middle attack will work on this where you have someone in the middle who pretends to be the person receiving the message, in this case the locked box. Some audiences will figure that out for themselves, and that's a really good thing because they've actually experienced what a good security analyst should be doing, developing a method, looking for a weakness in it, and then trying to think of ways to address those weaknesses.